Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and I've been very busy, but you can probably tell that just based on my upload schedule. But I did want to talk a bit about CS2 because I don't think that I really covered everything that I wanted to talk about in just the first preliminary video that I made on it. And I thought for a while how I wanted to organize this video and when I wanted to upload it because obviously the market was sort of just skyrocketing over the past month or so. And that's not really a great time to talk about investing because everything is just kind of hitting all time highs. But I think now, since a lot of stuff has started to sort of come down, equalize, and just in general decrease to a more reasonable price, I think now is the time to make a video like this. Now as for organization of this video, I was thinking about that a lot as well, and what I kind of settled on was making a tiered investment video, basically talking about what you can invest in at different price points, because I think that would be best for the vast majority of people. I'll have investments for people with a lot to spend, and people with a lot less to spend. Obviously these are not the only options, they're just something to consider. We'll get right into it after a word from our sponsor, Skins Monkey. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a website that you can take all of the skins that you don't want anymore and upgrade them into something pretty cool. Even if the item that you trade for is on a trade hold, it'll be added to your Skins Monkey backpack until it's ready to be withdrawn. When you use code NALO, there's actually two bonuses that you get on the site. The first one is an up to $5 bonus when trading skins, and the second one is an added 5% bonus when you're topping up your balance. And this is on top of the 30% bonus they already give you. And even if you don't have any skins to trade, Skins Monkey actually has daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways that you can enter completely for free with a variety of ways to gain more entries. So check out this great site, Skins Monkey, by using my link in the description below for these extra bonuses. Alrighty boys, so starting at the low end, this is going to be stuff that has a very cheap entry point. And the first thing I want to talk about here is some papers from the Antwerp Contenders capsule. There's a lot of good signatures here, and, and they're actually really cheap, all things considered. When you, for example, compare them to some of the Rio papers, they're actually a lot cheaper, despite a lot of them looking a lot better. One of the standout examples here is the Vinny paper, and I want to be very clear, I actually have a lot of Vinny papers right now. I'm not trying to manipulate the price on these, I just genuinely think they're a good investment, and I really don't want to make a video like this and then just not tell you about them. Make your own decision, don't buy them just because I said to, don't buy them just because I bought them. Not trying to manipulate here, just wanted to give full disclosure that I do own them. But here's the objective reason that I think they're good. First of all, they have a very, very cheap entry point, so you can buy a ton of these for a pretty low amount overall. I think right now you can get like 200 of them for around 20 bucks which is a very large amount to buy for very cheap. The Vinny signature here has sort of this like whale on it, which is very reminiscent of the Cassandra signature from Krakow, that obviously being a very, very popular sticker. And on top of that, there's sort of an exclusivity to this design because Vinny did not rehash his signature for Rio. He actually changed his signature quite a lot, and honestly, that sticker is pretty cool too. But what that means is this variant of the Vinny signature, this one with the whale design on it, is pretty much the only time you're going to see it. So I think that does work in its favor as well. But one of the biggest reasons is that this is from the Antwerp Contenders capsule, which I think anything related to this long term is a good idea to own. Not just the Vinny sticker, but a lot of the stickers from the capsule, for example, mainly because this capsule has a very big draw to it, which is chasing that rocks hollow and really the rocks gold as well. That's always going to be a big thing for collectors and people that want to craft and just generally people that are trying to gamble. This is going to be a capsule that people are opening a lot and are buying a lot of, so this has good long term potential because this capsule will continue continue to be removed from supply as the years go on. And obviously right now you can't get more of the capsules, they're not available in the store. So as that happens over time, the quantity will just do a flat decrease. Which means as time goes on and the capsule gets more expensive, it gets harder and harder to obtain these Vinny papers and really any sticker from the capsule, and their prices should go up as a result. But one of the other big reasons that I pinpointed the Vinny paper and hopefully to explain more why I'm talking about it despite owning some, is because it's just very cheap in comparison. If you want to buy rocks papers for example, those are about 40 cents a piece. So buying a large quantity of those is going to cost you a lot more than if you were to buy Vinny papers for example. But the rocks paper and the Vinny paper aren't the only good papers in this capsule, there's plenty actually. I don't own any Liaz papers for example, and I think those are really cool as well. The hats paper as well sort of has a design on it that some people might like. So there's a lot of options here. Look at them, see what kind of entry point you're looking for in specific. I personally think the Vinny paper is a little bit undervalued right now for what you're getting. I think it looks really good and I think it has good long-term potential. And just to prove I'm not trying to manipulate this sticker, I will hold on to the entirety of my Vinny stickers for a while after this video releases so I'm not taking advantage of any short-term price hype that I might accidentally create. So even if this video causes an unintentional price hype, I won't be profiting off it personally. And I know I talked a lot about 
this, but the final side note that I want to add here, normally in this section I would talk about cases, but unfortunately even the cheapest case in the game right now is almost a dollar. So cases aren't exactly a great high volume option at the moment, they seem to be very inflated. But moving right along to the mid tier section, this is going to be for people willing to drop over a dollar on a high volume investment. And for this one, really mainly I'm going to be looking at cases. Cases have gone up a lot recently, people have been very interested in buying them, and I think with the release of CS2 it's only going to get even more popular to open cases. CS2 has already shown that it is absolutely making the player base skyrocket. There are so many people getting into CSGO right now, and for good reason. CS2 looks like the perfect update. It's not really fixing anything that isn't broken, it's adding some cool new features, it's making everything look prettier. And already with a game like CSGO that already offers one of the best competitive FPS experiences, experiences out of every game currently on the market right now. CS2 just seems like a very solid update. And I think that that is going to become doubly true when it actually fully releases. I think there are going to be so many people interested in either picking up CSGO for the first time or returning to it, and we're going to see a huge boom in the player population, which means as a result cases are going to be ever popular. There'll be more case unboxings on YouTube, there'll be more skin content and case unboxing content on YouTube. And as a result of that, I think cases are just going to continue to go up in price even more than they already are. Now one case that I specifically want to highlight here is the Phoenix case. I think the Phoenix case is a sort of overlooked option right now. I don't see a ton of people talking about it, but I think it's an absolutely fantastic high volume mid-tier investment. The case offers both the AK Redline and the Op Asimov, which are two of the most iconic weapons and skins in the entire game. The Phoenix case has already risen quite a bit since the announcement of CS2, but I think from here it's only going to go even higher. But I think proportionally speaking, in terms of the Redline's price increase and the Op Asimov's price increase, the Phoenix case is still undervalued. It also offers the OG knives and you can get a Karambit case hardened from the Phoenix case. I was actually able to unbox one myself, which means in fact that the million dollar Karambit is a potential outcome from this case. And more or less importantly, it also offers the SG Pulse which I think is just a really good skin for the SG. So in terms of a case investment, especially at the mid-tier level, this is probably going to be the best option at the moment. Another opportunity at the mid-tier level, a couple dollars or so, is a lot of these hollow stickers from the Antwerp and Stockholm capsules, especially autographs. For example, the Cloud9 Antwerp hollows look extremely nice, and they will look very good in CS2 as well. RMR hollows are also apparently pretty good now, but I wouldn't read too much into that. There's still a ton of people that have a ton of RMR stickers, so I would probably recommend looking elsewhere, but that might be something to consider. But those are the main two things I would look at for those high volume mid-tier investments. If you're not looking to buy a large volume of stickers and you just want like one specific mid-tier item or a couple of them, then I would consider looking at these higher end stickers, especially stuff like the Flash Gaming Hollow. A lot of those Boston, Atlanta sort of area stickers are still somewhat cheap. Really though, I want to pinpoint the foil stickers, especially from around these years. Foil stickers got a huge graphical buff in CS2 and I think they are one of the primary things to look for if you're an investor. Specifically speaking, the Entropic Foil, the Luminosity Foil from MLG Columbus, and the flip side foils are all options that I think are really really solid right now. They are all fantastic looking foils even in just regular CSGO and I think with the graphical buff they're getting they're going to be even nicer and we'll see a lot more crafts with the foil stickers in general. So that's mainly what I would look for in this mid tier range. It's worth noting that AK Redlines for example have already gone up $10 which is like almost a 100% increase. So there are some weapon skins that have gone up as well. And looking into that area for investing may be a good option. And to close off the video, we'll talk about some high tier investment options. This is gonna be if you just have an unlimited amount to spend. And for this, we're mainly gonna be looking at a lot of different knives, but some that I'd like to point out, for example, are the Black Pearl knives. These ones got a pretty interesting buff for their graphics in CS2. They actually look a lot more distinct now, which is a pretty big deal because previously Black Pearls looked very similar to to phase ones in a lot of cases. But now you have these really, really cool looking black pearls that have very distinct patterns on them. Now obviously these are very expensive. Even a low tier knife with black pearl on it is very, very hard to come by these days. But I would say it's very worth it given what we know about black pearls at the current moment. Elephant in the room, of course, gamma dopplers and doppler knives in general are all getting a pretty decent buff here as well. They look absolutely fantastic in game. People have specifically been pointing out the sapphire and ruby variants, which do look very nice. Kettle 14 crafts I think are also going to be a interesting thing to check out. The entry cost for actually buying them isn't too terribly high. They are expensive, of course, but it's not going to be anywhere near the same price you're paying for actual Keto 14 unapplied stickers. 
but I think with a larger increase in players and more people interested in skins, these will become more of a holy grail. Owning anything related to Cato 14 is going to be a big deal. So if you can find a cheap craft somewhere on buff, potentially that might be something to look into. Or maybe an expensive one too, who knows. That's kind of the whole point of this tier. Keto 15 stickers, specifically hollows and foils, I think are also a good option. Again, expensive, but still something I think are a good option to invest into. And that's pretty much everything that I want to specifically spotlight. Of course, there are going to be a lot more options as well. Pretty much the whole market has gone up due to CS2's announcements. And there are, of course, many things that I did not touch on. But the things I talked about are just some things that I wanted to spotlight and bring to the forefront. Some things that I think might be a little bit more underrated than most. And if you decide you want to invest in them, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for taking time out of your day to come spend it with me. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it. it helps a lot, and it's completely free. And be sure to subscribe for the best CS2 and CSGO investment content anywhere else on YouTube. I'll see you all next time. Peace.